Alrighty, it's time for Master Level Stone Guardian in Kena Bridge of Spirits. To start the fight off, I'm going to throw a bomb on him and then I'm going to back off, try to shoot that bomb and shoot an exposed crystal. I missed that because I'm also concentrating on avoiding that minion on the left, but it doesn't matter, I'll just try again. Shoot the bomb. Oh, and his leg's flipping out. Well, that put me off. I'm two for two on misses now. Doesn't matter, just keep doing it. That's all I'm doing for phase one is trying to circle around, shoot the bombs and take the crystals out so that it knocks off his rock armor. He's throwing a rock, I dodge that. You can parry it back at him, but I prefer not to stand still to do the parry just in case one of the little baby groups throws a rock at him. And on master difficulty, they do throw a lot more rocks than they do on any other difficulty. Oh, and there's one straight past the front of my face, just as I was talking about it. So yeah, you have to constantly move to avoid being hit by any of those. So what I'm trying to do is move, jump, throw bombs, blow up bombs and take out all of his crystals. I want all of his crystals removed by the time phase 2 starts. If I manage to get all of his crystals gone, then all the rock armour he has that can be removed will be gone as well, meaning he'll be much more exposed to damage. While I do that, I'm making sure I don't use any of my rot abilities at all in Phase 1. I want to make sure I have a full stack ready for Phase 2. I mean, I could have done some rot attacks by now and still maxed out my courage in time for Phase 2, but I don't really want to micromanage like that. I just want to be 100% sure that when Phase 2 starts, I'm ready to burn him down with maximum rot ability. I also don't really want to stop to do any rot hammers because of the same reason I said before that you can get hit by the minions, especially by their rocks. So yeah, I just want to keep moving and I just want to try to take out all of his crystals if I can before phase 2 starts. See, he has one crystal left, it's on his arm, so my goal is to make sure that crystal is gone before we get to phase two. That way he'll be as exposed and as weak as he possibly can be. So given he's at half health now, I really need to get this crystal off with this shot. And I did, so that's pretty lucky. All right, it's phase two now and all of his armor pieces are gone. Just in time too. Now the boss will crouch down, attacks will come up from the ground, fireballs will explode and fire rings must be dodged. Put rot on the boss's flower. Maybe while I'm out of range, shield pulse to get some extra courage if there's any, there aren't. It's a bit risky to do that as it could have blown up the boss, but I'll do that now. And now I'll use the boss as a shield against the enemies while I go to town with rot hammers. This is also risky because the minions could get me while I'm doing it, but I only need three and that should do the job. Oh, that was close. That minion's blade just swung straight by. And that's the Stone Guardian beat on Master Difficulty with no damage taken just. Could have taken damage there at the end, but it wouldn't have been enough to end the run anyway, so still a pretty good strat. I'm Fuzzy Barbarian, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.